Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. Have you ever had this happen to you? You've imported your raw images into Lightroom and you've noticed that Lightroom did some adjusting for you. For example, I recently purchased the Nikon Z6, or if you prefer, the Nikon Z6. And these are among the first images I ever took with the camera. And I noticed these are raw files I just imported into Lightroom. I didn't do anything to them. And I noticed in the basic tab, contrast is at plus 15. Saturation is at minus one. Furthermore, if I jump down to detail, sharpening is at 40. Luminance noise reduction is at 25. Color noise reduction is at 10. Now I haven't done anything to these images. Lens corrections, remove chromatic, chromatic aberration is already clicked on. Now it's not doing any lens profile because that has been already applied because it is a mirrorless camera. So I've noticed that these adjustments are already done. And if you hit reset down here in the lower right hand corner, it resets to that. So if I move these, right, I just move some sliders around. And I, you know, I take uh, here, let me, uh, what was it, contrast? Yeah, I take contrast down, right? So I move all these around. Watch, I'll hit reset. And they go back to plus 15, minus one, and, and all the others are the same. Well, those are Lightroom's default settings for your camera. And you could actually change that. Now, I know some people really are frustrated by this. And they've created a preset that they apply in import that resets everything. So basically... They reset all the sliders the way they want them. And then when they import images from that specific camera, they will apply that import preset so that everything gets reset. Well, there's actually an easier and a better way. What we're going to do is we're going to take these settings and we're going to put them where we want them. Now, I want contrast at zero and I want saturation at zero. Now, I also noticed that it's using the camera standard V2 profile, which is a profile that's for my camera, in my camera. Normally, at least for most of my cameras, it uses the Adobe Color Profile. I'm actually gonna leave that, all right? So we'll leave that. Now I mentioned that in the detail, sharpening and radius are changed. So well, all we need to do is take sharpening all the way down, noise reduction all the way down, color all the way down. And in lens corrections, I'm gonna leave this, the chromatic aberration. So I'm leaving that. So. I have everything reset the way I want it. Now I could have put these anywhere. I just want them reset basically on zero. And I want, so in the future, whenever I import images, that these settings are now like this. Furthermore, if I hit reset, I want it to reset to the settings. See right now, if I hit reset, it goes back to those crazy settings. I'm gonna hit Command Z to undo that reset. So we're back to my, my new reset settings. Now, what do I do to fix this? Well, while we're in the develop module, hold the Alt or Option key in. It's Alt if you have a PC, Option if you have a Mac. And you'll notice this reset button turns into set default. Click on that. Now you'll come up with this very confusing dialog box. It will say, change the default setting used by Lightroom and Camera Raw for negative files with the following properties. Nikon Z6 or Nikon Z6. Please note that these changes are not undoable. That's the confusing part. The changes are undoable. I'm not sure why it says that and what it's referring to, and I'll prove it to you in a moment. So I'm going to click on Update to Current Settings, just like that. Okay, so that is updated. So now I have them all zeroed. If I hit Reset, notice they didn't go anywhere. I'll move them around. I'll hit reset. They reset all back to zero. And any other images, they don't get updated automatically. You could see that this image shows contrast at plus 35 and saturation at plus one. Well, hit reset. And now it resets the way I want it. And I'll prove even more. We'll go to the next image. You could see the settings there and we'll open up that detail tab. See the crazy detail settings? Hit reset. Bam. We're back to where we want. Now, if for some reason you want to go back to the original uh, input of settings, all right, hold that Alt or Option key in again. Click on this Set Default button again. 
Now go to restore Adobe default settings. That's why I mentioned this. Please note that these changes are not undoable. I'm going to undo it. So I'm restoring the default, the Adobe default settings, just like that. Now, when I hit reset, it goes back to those crazy settings. See, reset, reset to those crazy settings. This one here, hit reset. See how it goes back to those crazy settings again. So you could do this. You don't have to have a, an import preset, an import develop preset, reset this for you. Just do it right here. Now I'm going to do it the way I want it. I want contrast at zero. I want saturation at zero, if I could put it in there. And what else? I want detail. I want sharpening all the way down. I want noise, luminance noise reduction all the way down, color noise reduction all the way down. I'm going to hold that alter option key in. Click on set default. I'm going to click the blue button, update to current settings, and bam, it's done. We'll go back here. Now I could hit reset and so on. Now, remember every image now you import from the same camera will get these updated settings. So we'll get the settings you want, basically. Um, so this isn't just for setting everything to zero. If you have a habit of, let's say, always putting contrast at 10 and always putting highlights at minus 100 and shadows at plus 100. You can put those in and then put those as your default settings and then every image you get imported in will have those settings automatically applied to it. So I hope that helps, straightens up some confusion, and I hope it helps you improve your Lightroom workflow. Thank you everyone that watches my videos. I truly do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.